Okay, today we'll be talking about atoms and molecules. So, atom is the smallest particle of an element. It is indivisible and cannot be broken down further. All matter is made up of atoms. Okay. Atoms of the same element have the same size, and atoms of different elements have different sizes. As we noticed earlier, that there are about 100 elements arranged in the periodic table. Okay, so there's going to be many, many elements on the periodic table. Okay. For a molecule, on the other hand, it consists of two or more atoms chemically combined together. The group of atoms can consist of either the same type of atoms or it can consist of different type of atoms. So if it's a molecule of an element, it will be made up of a fixed number of the same type of atoms. Okay. For example, we have oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. They exist as O2, H2, and N2. So they are actually two of the same type of atoms chemically combined. The group 7, chlorine, fluorine, bromine, and iodine, they also consist of two of the same type of atoms chemically combined. If there are two atoms that are chemically combined, we call them diatomic molecules. For ozone, phosphorus, and sulfur, you notice that they have more than two atoms chemically combined. Ozone has O3, phosphorus has P4, and sulfur has S8. So for this type of molecules, we call them polyatomic molecules. If it's a molecule of a compound, then it is going to be made up of two or more different kinds of atoms chemically combined together in a fixed proportion. Okay. If it's a molecule of a compound, then it's going to be made up of two or more different kinds of atoms chemically combined together in a fixed proportion. One example we have is water. Water is H2O, which consists of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen, while nitrogen dioxide consists of one atom of nitrogen and two atoms of oxygen, hence it's NO2, and for ethane, it will be two atoms of carbon and six atoms of hydrogen, so the molecular formula will be C2H6.